Hi guys, welcome back to my channel on what feels like the coldest day ever. I'm indoors, I have my scarf on, it's crazy and I've just put heating on just because I cannot warm up today. Uh, but welcome, I hope you're all excited for another fantastic day of food. And today I'm actually very, very excited because I'm going to be making some things that I haven't necessarily made before, which is absolutely fantastic, along with a favourite that you keep asking me about that you've seen in previous videos. So I'm very excited to be sharing all of this with you today. So breakfast, let's talk about that. This morning I nipped out to Tesco straight from the school run. So we actually had breakfast a little bit later than normal. And I woke up and I had this real sensation come over me for sweetness and for chocolate which very rarely happens but I just really fancied something sweet and not in my sweet kind of biscoff porridge way more just some chocolate so I went to the stores to see what I can find and I came across these little chocolate puddings kind of like yogurt I'll insert that now so in regards to breakfast I just fancy something a little bit sweet and I came across these Muller Light chocolate layer yogurts which Normally I wouldn't have something like this for breakfast, but again, I, I feel like something quite sweet. And these are actually relatively low in point value. So they're actually pretty much the same as the porridge that I would have. Um, and it's just something small before lunch, just to pick me up. And again, I just fancied something sweet. So I'm gonna get my app out and double, triple check to make sure, because it seems crazy that these are only three points. But yeah, they're three points. I'm gonna track that for breakfast, which I'm very excited about. They're kind of two layered. They have um, layers of Belgian chocolate and caramel, and I'm very excited, because you guys know I'm a sucker for caramel, so I cannot wait to eat this. It's such a treat. Um, it looks like chocolate pudding. Mm. And it really did hit the spot, guys. It was so delicious, so dreamy and whippy. I really enjoyed it. So now, lunchtime, and I'm thinking about doing some little makeshift sourdough miniature pizzas, which might sound like a lot of effort, and they are a little bit time consuming, but they are so worth it, and these are fantastic for today, when I want something warm and exciting and interesting, and they're also great for fakeaways, they're great for evening meals as well, so I'm going to be making those in a moment, and basically what they are is little pieces of sourdough bread that I'm going to put toppings on, and put them in the oven, and make little makeshift pizzas, which I'm very, very um, ready for. And then for dinner tonight, one of the things that I get asked about so frequently on this channel is my homemade burgers. You see them when I have them um, for leftovers for lunch, I make burger wraps, and I constantly get asked about my burger recipe, so I thought tonight it'd be a fantastic one to include. So I'm gonna be making homemade burgers from scratch, which I'm, again, very excited for what I keep saying, but I'm so motivated by food. I love it so, so much. So yeah, that is the plan for today. I will link my big, huge scarf in the description box down below as my jumper, and I'm also just wearing my bog standard Topshop skinny jeans, so nothing too exciting. Um, on that front but yeah I hope you all enjoy it and let's get on with the day so the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to about 200 degrees and that is going to sit and get warm while we concentrate on making up our pizzas so so the base of my little pizzas are going to be made on this gorgeous sourdough that I picked up from Tesco I'm just going to be slicing it into really thin pieces and they're going to be my little pizza uh, bases I also have here some uh, red onion chutney, which is basically a really sweet chutney with onions and brown sugar and molasses. It's just really delicious and fantastic if you don't fancy chopping onions, but you want that lovely strong flavour. And it melts really well with the cheese and everything like that. So I have this. This is the Tesco's finest and it is delicious. I've had it before. Um, I have some tomato puree, which is going to be, of course, my base. I normally make my base for pizzas out of passata, but today, for time constraints, I'm going to be using this and I'll just... Um, get a bit of garlic to mix in with that as well. I of course have cheese, I cannot have a pizza without cheese, so we're weighing that out as well. Um, for another topping, I picked this up from Tesco, and this is a chicken tikka seasoned breast, so no skin on here, so the chicken breast is of course free, and I might factor in a point or so for the marinade, but I'm very excited because this smells incredible. Um, I smelt this at the deli, they had one on the deli, and it smells so, so good, so I picked one up, so I have that. And then finally, I'm going to have a sprinkling of spinach on there as well. So these are all of my toppings. I'm going to get some garlic, get that grated, and then we'll literally assemble it all and pop it in the oven. Okay, so I have my sourdough bread here, and literally, I'm just going to slice it up quite thinly, actually. I prefer a thin pizza base as opposed to a thick one. So I'm literally just going to cut this off and then it's three points. These two slices of sourdough, it is actually three points, which I think is more than reasonable. So what I'm going to do now, so I have here a nice quality olive oil mixed in with a little bit of oregano. And what I'm going to do is literally just give them a light brushing. And not only will this crisp up, but it will allow everything else to stick to it really nicely. Get your tomato puree 
and literally spoon out the amount that you would like. Just have as much as you would like. Obviously don't go too overkill, especially if you're using a concentrated one like this one. Honestly guys, this is such a delicious lunch and it's one that it might not occur to you but it's all about getting creative. And you can get on with the rest of your toppings and again this is kind of like the amount of tomato. There's no hard and fast rule as to what toppings you guys should have. You could make this completely veggie by just adding vegetables, cheese, um, or you could go all out and add some seafood on there, chicken, pancetta, parma ham, like literally it's limitless. Like, you can do whatever you would like. I'm not going to use much of this because as you can see my flatbreads aren't you know very big and I don't want to overcrowd them too much. Um, so I'm just going to have perhaps about half of this breast and then put the rest in the fridge for another time. I'm literally just going to place them. This is why I use silicone brushes, guys. Then I'm gonna do a little scattering of cheese now and then one at the end. I'm gonna be using two points worth for both of these and this is the Cathedral City Light. I use 20 grams of this and that is exactly 20 grams which is perfect and very convenient actually. I feel like I'm an expert at weighing out cheese and cutting out the amount that I think I might need. So I'm gonna get my bigger slice and I'm going to grate it onto the top and then I'm going to do this again at the end with the other piece that I have. So this is the chutney in question. I did show you this before, but I think um, what I'm going to do is get my barcode scanner out and just check because with it containing sugar, I feel like it might not be free. However, I don't, I can't see myself tracking this, but if you want to be more accurate, feel free to do that. I'm just going to get my barcode scanner out. And this is two points per serving. That's for a tablespoon. I'm literally going to have the lightest amount of this. So. I'm not going to track that, but feel free to do it guys, two points per tablespoon. And this smells incredible as well, and it's fantastic for burgers, things like that, uh, the sausages. It's just a really lovely concentrated um, onion chutney basically, and it, it's just very, very delicious. So. And they're out of the oven guys and they smell absolutely incredible. I mean you could have these as an evening meal. They are so substantial, so delicious, so pleasurable. Honestly, again, it's just about having a think. I mean you might have just a boring chicken sandwich or you could make yourself a sourdough pizza. Um, with similar kind of ingredients, bread, cheese, chicken, spinach, and you are done. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. It's one of my favorites, and that chutney, look how delicious it looks. It's all crispy and gooey and gone into the cheese. It just melts together. Seven points, absolutely amazing. I challenge anybody who would not like this and would prefer to go and have a takeout pizza than this that would cost you three times the point value. Very, very happy with this one. Making up the past and feeling up a girl like she's never felt a fear before. So it's that time again, guys. I'm just about to go off on the school run, and I have to say, and I mentioned this in my hitting the reset button and starting WW after Christmas again, that I've really missed my time on the school run. It was that one time in a day where it was literally just me. I walked, I had reflection time, I was on my own, I could just gather my thoughts, think about my day and just chill. And I have to say, I really missed it. It's so lovely to have it back in my life again. So I'm literally just dipping out to get Layla and then I'll get back and make my afternoon coffee. I don't know what I'm gonna have with it yet just because those pizzas were amazing. One of the best things that I've just made up and I'm sure I'm not the first person to use sourdough as a base for pizza, but honestly, 
that is coming on the blog. I think it's a good one to start with because it's one that everyone can get involved with, whether you're vegan, whether you're vegetarian or you're a meat eater, everyone can get on board with these simple pizzas and they make such a fantastic lunch, such a fantastic fake way idea, or just for like handing out at parties. They're just mega, they're so, so nice. So yeah, I'm gonna head out, get Lael, come back, have a coffee, and then we're gonna get on with making the most amazing homemade burgers of your life and that is a promise, so yeah, let's go. Now time to make the burgers and I'm going to have my recipe in the description box down below but I have some onion here that I have really blitzed up. You want it as fine as possible. If you're not good at chopping onion you can always grate it by hand. I have some lean beef steak mince. Two, tea two teaspoons, sorry, of Dijon mustard, some salt and pepper for seasoning, and 50 grams of breadcrumbs. You can blitz up some bread in the processor and use regular breadcrumbs if you like. And for binding, you want one entire yolk. And when she walks, the subject of the talk, she would be hard to chase. But good to catch, and she can change the world with her hands behind her back. Oh. You can find her sitting on a doorstep. So the burgers are done. They've been sat resting for a few minutes, and I've also cooked some bacon alongside. So these are going to be bacon cheeseburgers. And um, the muffins that I'm going to be using are from Aldi. We will point those in a moment. So I'm going to have one of those. I have some cheese here, some baby gem beautiful beef tomato. I love these because they just fit really nicely in the bun and you don't have to do much chopping and they just kind of as they are. And I also have some burger sauce here. You can whip up your own. I'm using a Hellman's one but and I've also popped some french fries in the oven which again I will point and show you guys the point value. But yeah I'm very excited. These burgers are so moist, so delicious. Two points each. Dreamer with eyes that make you melt. She lends a coat for shelter plus she's there for you. When she shouldn't be, she stays all the same, waits for you and sees you through. There's no So guys, we've come to the end of another What I Eat video. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Those burgers were so filling, honestly. And you could even skip on the bun if you're actively trying to lose weight and have the meat between the baby gem lettuce. I used to do that when I was losing weight and it was just as delicious. So. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. I think my triumph of the day has to be those sourdough mini pizzas. They were delicious. I'm definitely going to be having them more often. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the description box for recipes and point values. I actually have one to roll over today, but I think that's going to account for things like burger sauce that I didn't track and oil and things like that. So again, I'm not being too strict, but make sure you're using your scanner, you're checking things, you're weighing them out, especially if you're actively trying to lose. And I'll see you in my next one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. She'll Bye. be there for life. Oh, you can tell that she'll be there for life.